Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I've got a Sainsbury's food haul for you. Um, I'm just, I've laid it all out and I'm kind of thinking, it doesn't look very much. Um, like there's a lot of food here, but this came to £81.36p and I don't think it looks like 80 quid's worth of shopping. Um, so, and everything's here, so I just think Maybe maybe some of the individual items are a bit more expensive. It just doesn't seem to be a lot for the amount of money I've spent. But it's what I ordered, so I just expected it to look more when it was here. Right. Delightful delivery driver. He <laughs> he actually rang me at like 10 o'clock this morning. He was like, oh, I'm, I'm literally around the corner. I know your slot's not until the afternoon. Can I come and deliver? And I was like, oh, I'm in Truro. I'm really sorry I'm not there. But he was so nice about it. He's a really nice guy. Um, I had three substitutions, I kept them all, um, yeah, no freebies this week, Sainsbury's website hasn't, hasn't been that generous of late, uh, they just had competitions, um, but yeah, right, I'm gonna stop rambling, show you the groceries. Quick overhaul, overhaul, overview, yeah, right, let's jump in over here, substitutions. This is not the colour milk we normally get. I always buy skimmed milk. Um, I kind of find whole milk a bit heavy. Like, it's so creamy, which is nice for, like, an occasional coffee. But if I drank a whole day of coffee or tea with full milk, it makes me feel a bit, uh. Does that sound strange? Um, however, John likes whole milk. Um, and it's better to have some milk in the house than no milk in the house. So, yeah, I just kept it as a substitution. Uh, John requested a New Yorker sandwich, which is like pastrami's and pickles and things. Um, they substituted it for the chicken triple. Uh, the other substitution is in here somewhere. Uh, I got one of these trays. Uh, we're going to a thing tonight. We made vodka jelly shots um, and basically I bought this for transportation purposes. So that's what that's for. I got four bottles of Diet Coke, uh, the caffeine free version. Basically this was on offer this week and it was quite a bit cheaper than Pepsi. I do prefer Pepsi to Coke but not enough to pay almost 40p more a bottle for it. So yeah, we got that. Um, I got some washing up liquid, fairy, just the green one. See, I like all the fancy smancy ones that smell good, but John prefers this one, so that's what I've got. Got myself uh, another spray of carnations. I know some people don't like carnations, but I do. They give a little pop of colour. They last really well. Our house is quite hot, and sometimes flowers just, just don't last in the heat of our house. Um, and carnations tend to do all right, so yeah, I'm happy with those. Um, toilet roll and lady products um, because of the requirement of lady products we have lint chocolate bars <laughs> um, oh I bought pancakes now obviously normally John makes the pancakes in our family um, but I thought I'd give him the weekend off and I'd just get shop bought ones I thought I only ordered one pack but I checked the uh, bill and I did well my online order and I did order two um, so yeah, these are luxury buttermilk pancakes. I'm just going to kind of warm them through and serve them with like strawberries and blueberries. But yeah, I thought they looked nice. So two packets of those. Um, ordered John a deodorant, L'Oreal man expert. He likes the red one or the yellow one from this range. They both smell the same to me, but John likes those. I've uh, got some crunchy organic peanut butter. Avocado, rather solid avocado. Um, oh, I have never bought this before. I got some custard powder. Now, if I want custard, I normally buy a tin because I can remember trying to make custard at school in a cooking class once and it was really horrible. Um, but I'm going to make a custard cake this week and you use powder for that. So... Wish me luck. If it tastes awful, watch for the vlogs. I'm sure John will be honest about it. <laughs> uh, two packets of ibuprofen, a 
packet of mushrooms and this one's my third substitution um i ordered blueberries um i think i ordered a smaller pack that were organic and they've substituted it for a large pack that aren't organic but that's okay doesn't really bother me like that so yeah got some blueberries um we've got some tin foil wrapping foil again a little not really something we buy that often but it's to the jelly shops will go in here and that will because we're I'm not sure if we're getting the train to this thing we're going to or if we're getting a taxi but I need something to so I don't spill vodka jelly in public so yeah that's for that um custard creams for dick it dip ooh <laughs> Freudian slip custard creams for dipping in tea uh, a large pack of bananas is there anything other than that oh and then there's like three little limes hidden like a little nest uh my version of heaven salted pretzels and then a big tub of strawberries and then there's some warburton's fruit toast and then we've got the hovis lower carb seeded bread and then the same Bree's own brand version of the cheese um, Doritos. And there's also a big bag of kettle crisps with sea salt and balsamic vinegar. Oh, spinach. We're going through a lot of spinach lately. Um, we've got some risotto rice. Um, just the one container of dog food this week. Uh, turkey sweet potato. Some giant Cadbury's dairy milk buttons. I love these. Um, we've got one of the lazy Greek salads with a it's just the right level. We never use the dressing in this. I don't know. There's a lemon and dill dressing. I really like dill, but we never use the dressing. But it's just the perfect kind of cheese ratio. So it's got feta and olives and things in there. Uh, a pack of baby potatoes. Um, some sour cream and chive dip. This is for John. He likes to dip these in this. I must be weird because I just eat them like they are, but John likes to dip them. Got a cucumber, some parmesan cheese, some cocktail sausages, uh, lasagna, got some prawns for what are the prawns for? Risotto. And then we got some basa fillets. These are yummy. Really like those. And then we got some of the lamb and mint kofta kebab thingies. Tiramisu. Been daydreaming about this for a couple of days. So we've got one of those. Um, we've got some chicken grills. Got two, yeah, a two pack of garlic bread. Um, oh, we had these for the first time the other week. They're so yummy. The maple and barbecue chicken wings, really easy, like you just literally chuck them in the oven and they're done. There's no marinating or anything. They're really good. Um, oh, we've got two packs of this chicken stuff. Oh yeah, these are on offer for a pound. Like, there was quite a few of the bird's eye range on offer for a pound at the moment. So we've got two of those. Um, John's out one night this week with his mates. So I'm just having one of these that night, a rice mac and cheese. And then a little Goodfellas pizza. Chicken, spicy, pepper, red onion. And that is our groceries. So that's this week's groceries. As I said, not as sizable as previous recent hauls. Um, I know it's a bank holiday this weekend. And normally on bank holidays we have buffet. But this bank holiday is so close to Easter. And it's like, we still have cheese in the fridge left over from the last bank holiday. So it's kind of like, it was a bit, a bit gluttonous to order all that stuff again. But um, yeah, probably by the next bank holiday in May, we'll be ready for a buffet again. But yeah, that is this week's groceries. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've had a good day, whatever day it is you're watching this. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.